Okay guys, part two to my Garmin Instinct um, screen protector video. This video, um, I got a Garmin One uh, plastic um, protectors. These are kind of the softer ones. And a, a viewer made a good comment about that the protector will interfere with solar charging, which I kind of figured it would. I mean, anything you, you put in front of it will have some impact, but I also want to test to see just how much. So um, thanks to Nathan for adding another uh, interesting twist to this video. So let's jump into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to pick up on a video I made uh, the other day regarding uh, screen protectors for the Instinct 2. Um, it actually got more attention than I thought, so I thought I'd make a follow-up to it. So if you saw that, I pointed out how the screen on this one is not flat, so applying a glass screen protector just wasn't an option. So I did pick up uh, some plastic kind of TPU ones, and we're going to try to see if those fit better. But what I thought I'd also do is do a quick experiment to see if um, the screen protector is going to have any kind of impact on the battery or the solar charging, I should, you know, to be more specific. So to do that, what I'm going to do actually is use a UV flashlight because it's an overcast today. And we'll see kind of what kind of reading I get with no protection first and then afterwards to see if it makes any kind of noticeable impact. So if we go to solar intensity, you can kind of see that right now we have no bars. So I'm going to go ahead and shine this light on. I don't know if you can see it. You can kind of see that it's at, it's almost at full. Basically, there you go. Two bars short of being full is what it's showing. Okay, am I getting that? It's kind of hard to do this. Oh, so now we're, now it went to full. So with the UV flashlight, I am getting uh, full UV power. You can kind of see that there. Oh, it drops. It just dropped one. So basically with the UV light, it's between almost full to full. So about now it's only one bar short and now it's back to full. So basically with the UV light, I'm able to achieve full performance. Let's see if I do it from a distance. If we do it from maybe about yay high, let's see if that does anything. There we go. So maybe I'll maybe that'll be the experiment. I'll hold it about this, about about you know about this this tool's height. So we'll see that we're getting one two bars holding it about this high up oh wait now it jumped one two three four five so about five bars if i hold it up at about this height okay so now i'm going to go ahead and apply the screen protector and we'll come back and test it once again to see these are what these look like these are just a flim the flat flexible one so i'm gonna pause it apply it and then i'll come back and then we'll do a second test with it applied all right guys we are back i've got the screen protector on it was super easy to apply i think it fits pretty darn good um you can still see a little of the moisture still in there so the way i like to apply these protectors is i use some rubbing alcohol it just makes it easier to adjust to get it um, accurate and then it's much easier to push out the excess alcohol than it is to try to push out any trapped air bubbles. So you can kind of see that it's got that kind of orange peel effect right now but I think within you know in a, in a couple days a week or so that'll kind of um, disappear. So that obviously will kind of impact the solar charging having a little bit of that alcohol trapped in there but I think it still should be fine. So let's give it a quick test to see how it impacts the solar charging. So 
So I'm gonna use this tool as a measuring stick, kind of hold it about the same height, and let's see what we got here. So it looks like we're about a bar or two short. Let's see if it changes. Yeah, it's holding there. So it 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 is impacting the screen protector is lessening the solar panels effectiveness and that's obviously to be expected anything that you put in front of the solar panel is going to obviously cause interference so whether it's gorilla glass sapphire glass this plastic screen protector but so will scratches if you get this thing scratched up scratches will also um, lessen its ability to charge so kind of give or take so i think it's fair to say that looks like this is kind of what we're holding at one, two, three, three bars of uh, of intensity it's measuring. So I believe it was five without the screen protector. So you lost about two about two bars of uh, strength. But let's see if I hold it uh, square on. Oh, wrong one. So can we achieve full power still? We were able to get full power when I held it up close. Let's see if it's still possible. Okay, here we go. It's, we're at half right now. Let's see if we'll keep climbing. Cause that would be an interesting test if this was unable to reach full power with the screen protector on. Yeah, so I think that's actually another takeaway. Uh, without the screen protector, if I held the light up kind of right into it, I achieved kind of full full strength charging. And the most I'm able to achieve with the screen protector is half. Yeah, so that's... That's something to think about too. So it appears that this screen protector does cut the solar charging by about a half. So that's, that's, that's more than I thought. Now, I will repeat this uh, maybe in a week or two once it's had time to kind of evaporate because it is, there's still some um, moisture trapped in there. But yeah, that is actually pretty interesting. So that's something to kind of, you know, take into consideration is do you use a screen protector or not? I mean, how valuable is a slower charging to you knowing that it does reduce it by about a half? Let me try this again. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, still at half. So that's my takeaway is uh, it's fair to say that using uh, this rhino skin shield is going to cut it down to about a half. Now, we'll see if in a week or two, I think a week should be enough time for this to evaporate so it's a much more cleaner look because right now I think this kind of does hinder it. I'll see if that makes it any better. But yeah, hopefully this helps someone in terms of picking out a screen protector or whether or not you should even put a screen protector on there. Uh, me personally, I'm keeping the protector on there. Um, I'd, I'd rather, it's more important for me to keep a nice clean screen than it is to have full solar charging. That, that's just me. I mean, if I'm ever stuck, you know, out in the middle of nowhere and I need that capability, then I can just peel it off if I have to. But uh, for me, I'm sticking with the protector on. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.